Welcome to Swami's classroom. So this lecture you will learn all about centroid. What is a centroid? You know what is center of gravity, which is center of weight or center of mass, you know center of volume. Similarly you can have center of area. The center of area is called centroid. It's a geometric center of any given shape. And also it is defined as first moment of area. That comes from the analogy with the moment produced by a force. If you look at the formula, you have x bar, the x centroid, is sum of ax by sum of a. If you look at the numerator, it is a times x, the area times the distance. It's analogous to force times distance called moment. So it's also called area moment. So it's defined as first moment of area. The y bar is so sum of a y divided by sum of a. And we have a lot of shapes like this in engineering. They are not continuous shape. That's why the formula is summation formula. And if you take a simple rectangular section, it has both horizontal symmetry and vertical symmetry. Wherever there is a symmetry, the centroid lies on the symmetry axis. In this case, we have two symmetry, both x and y. So the centroid lies on the intersection of both the axes. So the x and y intersection is the, that midpoint of the section. So that's your centroid. The so little x, little y defined as reference axis, and the capital X, capital Y or the centroidal axis. In this case, both coincide with each other. Now let us see another section, T section. Here you have a vertical symmetry, but there is no horizontal symmetry. So the centroid should lie on the vertical symmetry axis. But where on the axis? That's what determined by the distance y bar. So once you know this y bar, then you know the centroid lies there. The horizontal axis, capital X, is the centroidal axis in the x direction. And the y direction, the centroidal axis coincide with the reference axis because that is a symmetry axis. Now let's take a C section. In this section, we have horizontal symmetry, but there is no vertical symmetry. So the centroid should lie on horizontal symmetry axis. But where on that axis? given by the distance x bar. Now, the capital X and small x, they coincide, whereas small y and vertical y, I mean capital Y, they are different. Now, if you take a L section, it has no symmetry. It has neither horizontal symmetry nor vertical symmetry. So where the centroidal line? It lies outside the shape, some point, where it need to be calculated. That's the distance x bar from x axis and the y bar in the vertical direction. So you have both x bar and y bar gives you the centroidal location. So the capital X, capital Y, that's, that does not merge with x or y. They are different. Now if you take an I section, look at here, you have both vertical symmetry and the horizontal symmetry. So the intersection of both the symmetry axis is the idea, the midpoint. So that's our centroid. So in this case, the reference axis and centroidal axis, they coincide because they are the same. Now let us take this L case, L section, since it has no symmetry, let us try to find the centroidal distances, what is x bar and y bar with respect to the reference axis x and y. Since it is the L shape, let us divide into two simple elements. This one element and this is a second element. So once we know simple rectangle shape, we know where is the centroid of those because it is each element has both x and y symmetry. So the midpoint will be the centroid for that element. 
So take the element 1. The area of that element 1 is 6 times 1 half is 3 inch square. Now what is the centroid of that element? The midpoint of that? It is 1 half of x 6 is 3 inch and vertical distance 1 half of half inch 0.25 inch. Same way for the element 2, the area of the element 2 is the 6 minus half, that's the height of the element, which is 5.5, the width is 0.5, so 5.5 times 0.5 gives you the area 2.75 inch square. Now, its centroid is a midpoint of that rectangle, so that x coordinate is 1 half of 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25 right here. Now, y coordinate is one half of 5.5, that is this distance, plus this distance. So we are finding with respect to reference axis. So 5.5 divided by 2, which is 2.75, plus this 0.5 comes to 3.25. So that's the centroid of element 2. So once you figure out the area of the each element, and the centroid of the each element with respect to the reference axis x, y. Then rest of it is straightforward. So if you don't understand that, you can view the video again, how we come up with a i, x i and y i. i stands for ith element, now i equal to 1, first element, now i equal to 2, second element. So once you have this data, you can calculate a i, x i, by multiplying these two columns, and writing the value, 3 times 3, 9. Same way, a i, y i, 3 times 0 0.25, 0 0.75. For the second element, same way, a i times x i, 0 0.6875, a i times y i, 8.9375. Now add them up, sum of a i, x i, sum of a i, y i. Also add all the area of the elements, sum of a i. Now, the x bar, given by sum of ai xi divided by sum of ai, which is 9.6875 divided by 5.75. That gives you 1.685. The y bar is sum of ai yi divided by sum of ai, which is 9.6875 divided by 5.75, same values, so you get 1.685. In this case, just a coincidence, we have same number. That's because we have same width and same height and same thickness. So that's how we can calculate the centroid of any given shape. For example, the I section, you divide into simple three rectangles. So element one, element two, and element three. So any given shape, we can divide into simple shape. For example, here C section, we can divide into, again, three rectangles. One, two, and three. In the T section, we can divide into two rectangles. One and two. So like that, we can divide each shape into simple rectangles. Then we can use this the table method. The only thing we need to we worry about is the area of the each element and the centroid of the each element, the x and y coordinate with respect to the reference axis. Once you have those values, you can simply find other columns and then use the formula to find x bar and y bar. So that completes your centroid lecture and happy learning.